This is question number 68 from book number one, based on the 2020 NEC, and this is electricaltime.com. A 15 horsepower motor that operates at 230 volts, three phase, has an efficiency of 90% and a power factor of 90%. What are the full load amps, and we call that the FLA, of this motor and we got a couple of choices here we got 35 amps 40 amps 45 amps and 50 amps just want to take 30 seconds to let you know what we do here at electricaltime.com we do online electrical classes from the comfort of your home and then we also have this free service so if you click on the subscribe for free NEC questions, Monday through Friday, you'll get an NEC code question and an answer sent to your email. All right, so back to our video. And the answer to this question is going to be A, and this is going to be 35 amps. All right, so looking at this question, you know, we see the word motor in here, and automatically I'm thinking about Article 430. But when I really look at this, it's asking me to perform a calculation. And that calculation is the FLA calculation of a motor. And here it is. All right. So again, we spoke about Article 430 for motors, and that's also for motor circuits and controllers. And Article 430 for motors is within Chapter 4, Equipment for General Use. Again, they're asking us in this question to calculate something called the FLA. So let's take a look at step number one. We need to calculate the full load amps. And again, we call that the FLA based on the information we were provided. Let's use this formula, which you should memorize. And here's the formula. FLA, again, that's for full load amps, is equal to 746 watts times the horsepower of that motor then we divide that by the voltage times the efficiency times the power factor where 746 watts is equal to the power output of one horsepower hp stands for the horsepower of the motor e is for volts if it's three phase, then we have to take E times 1.732. And again, that's for three phase. EF is equal to the efficiency of the motor from the nameplate. PF is equal to the power factor of the motor from the nameplate. So step number two, let's plug in the numbers into the FLA formula. So we have FLA is equal to 746 watts times the horsepower divided by E times EF times PF. So now we get to the next line. FLA is equal to 746 watts times 15, and that's for the 15 horsepower, divided by 230 volts times 1.732 and 1.732 is for three phase we're then going to multiply that by 0.90 and that was for the efficiency and then we're going to multiply that by 0.90 and that's for the power factor so let's take it down to the next line fla is now equal to 11,190 divided by 322.67. So the FLA is now equal to 34.7 amps. And we're just going to round that up to 35 amps. So the answer to this question is A, and that's going to be 35 amps. And we're going to see the FLA formula above. Again, this is the FLA formula over here, and I'm going to highlight that. And it's really important that you memorize this formula here, which I'm highlighting right now. And again, FLA is equal to 746 watts times the horsepower. So we take that and multiply those two numbers together. Then we divide it by the voltage times the efficiency times the power 
factor. And if you have a motor sitting around, take a look at the nameplate and go and enter those numbers and see if that's going to equal the FLA of that motor.